Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Halo 3, the real one, not ODST. Did everyone already oh. Good. So yeah, like I played this game a few times, and then. IFF confirmed. Contact is Bell when I got reached, I basically Roger never that. went back to this thing ever again. Uh, it's kind of a shame, because it is a good game, but like, I really couldn't get into it as much as I could Reach. Because Reach is like, hey, new guy, here we're gonna, we're gonna sit you down and explain all the things to you that you don't understand. And then we're gonna do a fresh story that just requires knowledge that like, hey, there is a space war going on. Whereas this is like, there's a space war, and you've been involved in the last two primary conflicts, and Sorry Earth is currently under siege, screen. and there's a boat, and Katana's on it, and you low. abandon her, and oh my god, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, holy shit. For little baby Alfred, this was way, way too much to just pound into my brain. Check it out. And so, like, the story no totally went over Spartan, my head. for real, you better not be. Oh man, he's here. Gonna be Where did you find him? That's great. Yeah, but not bad. That is one thing that I do really appreciate about, especially Chief, but a lot of Spartans in general. The feeling of, like, camaraderie that you are this messianic thing. That people see this and, like, practically drop to their knees and kiss the ground you walk on. Like, oh my god, it's him. We're gonna be okay. And as opposed to, like, a game where that might not be earned, doing this now, I feel like I have her, you know? I fought off the flood in one. I shimmied on the Covenant in one. What about Halo? I handled we the Covenant uh, decently well in two, and also now the, the Arbiter did his own, but for you know what, that's why we've got Arbiter here, you know? Be able to fire all the Halo we teamed up in two, if indirectly, and now we're actually teaming up. Humanity, the Covenant, every sentient being in the galaxy. The rings will kill us all. Ma'am, I have Lord Hood. Patch him I through. still can't believe that guy's Good name. Good news, is. Commander Keys. Good as it gets, sir. So I, see. <laughs> I was really hoping I would get What's an explanation on Green, sir. Lord Hood it, when I played two, but Commander's like I don't really plan. think I did. It was Without just like, you, I wasn't sure hey, it's Lord Hood. He's here. Truth ships are clustered around anyway. the excavation site, and his infantry. He's just voiced by Ron Perlman, and here he is. Guy with a lot of medals and white coat. There you go. I'll initiate a low-level strike. Hit him right where it hurts. I only have a handful of ships, Master Chief. It's a big risk, but I'm confident. Hell, not again. Emergency generators, now! Shielding failed. They're down and charging. As soon as they're up, re-establish contact with Lord. Let you him know. all of you vermin, cowering in the dirt. Thinking. Yeah. Even as a kid, I was like, well, this guy's a super villain based on the fucking the pimpin' ass fire. robe and the... Great golden throne and crown. The world will burn until its surface is but glass. And not even your demon will live to creep, blackened from its hole to it's mild reflection like, of our yeah, passage. Right? The culmination of our journey. Yeah, I don't actually know, I didn't actually know what he meant at the time. It's kind of crazy, huh? And I, I am their instrument. I have a flute. Whistle. Bastard just loves to run his mouth. Does he usually mention me? Give the order. We're closing shop. Ma'am? We're about to get hit. All personnel. We're wounded. Code alpha We're getting all of them out. I have to carry him myself. Ma'am, squad leaders are requesting a rally point. Where should they go? To war. That's not really a point exactly. That's more of a concept of. Are we not going to get actual? Okay. We just lost the perimeter cameras. Motion trackers. They're down, or we're not receiving. Can't tell. Any of our birds squawking? No, ma'am. Wait. Overwatch has contacts. Phantoms closing on our position. Oh no! Bad lore incoming. Any birds less than five minutes out? Sorry, Bring he said Overwatch. Tell At this point, it's a knee-jerk reaction. Um, I've elected to not put intros on these. I used to put intros on all my LPs. Um, we knew they'd find us eventually, but we have a plan. Let's make it happen. Uh, yeah, I used to put Let's intros go. on all of my Come LPs. Come on, sir. I'll show you um, the way. And then, like, I kind of stopped doing that, and then it 
really just became a thing that I was doing in my Halo LPs for the sake of uh, these stupid things, just for the sake of like tradition. And now I'm having you know more fun just doing a standard old Halo LP. It's nice, although if I ever get monetized, I will definitely start doing it again. I'm working on it though. Point of entry. Gradually plugging along. Tiger Sergeant. Agreed. Master Chief, get there. If my initial um We're with you, Chief. Yeah, get so. If my initial scan of uh, how long it'll take is correct, uh, it'll take me ten years to get monetized. However, if my more optimistic one is, it'll be a little under three years. Which means that by now I'm like, oh, uh, almost halfway there. Maybe one day I'll have exerted enough work to get money in on this. Wow, that guy got it. I find there's not enough games with me in them. It's cool. Shit, that is real bright. Does though some games like go out of their way to to give you like a total hero complex? I don't think Halo is quite there. Um I feel like what Chief has done is very justifiably like. You could see that guy as a messiah, definitely. I feel like that should be a pit that I can just drop right into. I do have the flashlight. So. It just cracks me up how like Chief has a little like mag light stuck to the side of his helmet. And then ESTs were technically lower rank and tier than Spartans. And Spartans 3, who. Spartan 3s, who are explicitly lower rank and less cool and more manufactured, have better night vision gear than just a fucking flashlight stuck to the side of your face. Sorry, I incorrectly referred to them by the plural Spartans 3. Though I've gotta say, it would be kind of amusing were that the case. Like. Like, you have a single Spartan. Technically speaking, it's a Spartan 2. But the real plural is Spartans 2, you know? I learned recently that Spartan 1 was actually a failed biotech project. As opposed to, uh, you know, the actual historical Spartans. The reason that Chief is a Spartan 2 is that Spartan 1 was an attempt to uh, make a super soldier. That just went down. This totally reminds me of a level 2, though it's an orbital level, so maybe they're just like, hey, maybe we'll let Chief do it. So even though there's nothing actually hooking to turn up anything, it loses exactly half of its ammo every time you pull it off. And also, you know, has limited damage, even though there's no difference besides the fact that this has got legs. This is one thing I always liked about bubble shields, how huge they are, the fact that they go down to lower levels. Though I've got to say, the reach bubble shield is way, way better. The fact that you get healing in the shield as well, like, that's great. And what's more, like, it forces players to be even more aggressive, because with the normal bubble shield, you know, they can wait until it goes away, and then be back to normal, but, like, with the drop shield from Reach, you force somebody to basically come in, because otherwise you're going to be able to just come out ready to go, guns blazing, about as full and fresh as you could possibly be. That's cool, I like that. Yeah, I know. 
I always wish I could go with them to see the inside of a Covenant ship, but turns out that I actually just needed to play Halo 2. Though, of course, my problem was uh, not owning an original Xbox, just a 360. Granted, 360's the best console of its generation. Like, the GameCube has excellent excellent uh, exclusives and the PS2 is possibly still the best console of all time and the three the original Xbox has some okay exclusives as well can't go wrong with the good old blinks the time sweeper right but like the 360 is absolutely out of the way the best console of its generation and so like I didn't really feel like I was missing out on too much by not having an original uh, Xbox the 360 will do fine, you know. Hey, you hear that? Yeah, and I don't like it. And when I later got a uh, PS3, there weren't m there weren't much in the way of of cool. Actually, just remembered something. There weren't much in the way of um. When I got a PS3, there weren't much in the way of really cool exclusives. I remember playing Uncharted, and that was alright. I also played uh, the Judas Bizarre Adventure game, which was pretty good. But other than that, that's about it. Um, another thing about this, this was the case in um, Following, sir. the HD remaster of 2 that I played. Anyone or I guess it's even a remake, but... Right something really appreciable is that you can really see how cool Chief looks. Um, in Halo 1, and for a lot of the art of the era, you know, of, of pre-Halo 2 Chief, he looks like a BMX guy. And that's, that's silly. He looks dumb. Uh, and Sorry, part of the reason is way. because extreme sports were huge in the early 2000s. Coming out of the vents! Line them up! Line them up! We haven't seen these before, guys. I mean, I know that they're probably the least use, like, least used series in all of Halo. But, like, I don't know. Should we be, like, the best ones here? I feel like this will help. Shit. Drones are cool. They're actually not able to fly. What they can do is jump on their home planet. Um, but their home planet has such huge gravity that when they get here, they're actually able to, like, jump crazy high. And then when they get equipped with things like... When they get equipped with things like the little jetpacks that the Covenant give them, they can proper fly. You might want to put that out. Chief, have a look. A little going away gift for the Covenant. We've linked it to smaller charges throughout the base. Johnson, as soon as the evacuation is complete, start the timer. Understood. Good luck, everyone. See you on the last Pelican out. So should I not hit this thing? Follow me, Chief. You got it. Yeah, Chief as a BMX guy is just, frankly, totally, totally silly. I know that, like, it does ostensibly make sense as... A fresh scent must be close. Spread out! Track it down! Ostensibly it does make sense, sorry. I was Anyway, could make sense that Chief is a guy who's gonna be like, 
progress in that sort of year, but like it is so much more like what teenagers think is cool as opposed to actual military gear. So if this is what I think it is, this is equipment that hasn't come back. Energy drain, I think. Or alternatively, I just don't wreck it. Which is also possible. Oh god, they're throwing in one as well. Something I really like about my uh, camera, it doesn't have a very good system of lighting. So, um, it uses the crappy overhead light in my bedroom, and as a result, will also have a lot of light from my own computer screen. And so I really like that whenever I get flashbanged or something in a video game, you can see it light up my own beautiful face as well, which I think is very cool. But maybe it's just me. I bitch about the shotgun every single game, so maybe I can try to stave that off this time. I remember getting lost in here as a kid as well. It's not like super obvious where you're supposed to go. Or maybe it is and I'm dumb, but like... I don't remember being... I also remember thinking that that little T thing was a gun. I'm like being forced to look up Cortana's nose while she uh, waxes at you. <laughs> he got stuck. That's funny. Did I have to fight you guys, or can I just the beat a pet? Protect their lives. Rebel! Or all your eyes I love that he's yelling at them to, like, fucking get a hold of yourselves and stop listening to the dumb shit the prophets say, but I don't think you could conceivably have a cool protagonist. Please! Look! It's Oh, friendly fireworks. I don't think that you could conceivably have a cool protagonist uh, drone the way that we have a cool protagonist, Spartan or Elite. Maybe a Brute, but that's already pushing. God damn, I love this thing so much. Funny and pointless. Though if I remember correctly, those are used in a few speedrun strats for Halo. Are you just standing here chilling, bro? Remember, of course, that this is post the schism in the cupboard, so the elites have been ousted by their former bosses. So, uh, there are no elites to act as cool guy shock troops. Only. That area is secure. Only brutes. Which is also why the co op, uh, the fun co op guys, instead of just being the inexplicable shadow clone of Chief, are. Uh, some more. Commander, Pardon we me. lost the op center. Brutes attacked in force. Couldn't Which is them. why there's actual the elites. You play as the arbiter in co-op. You also play as do, the two randos I mentioned last time. They're just guys that show up to be players three and four. 
but they don't actually have much beyond that for their story. Oh god. Well. Uh, what's your name, Chief? Oh, of course. He was just invisible, and he was there the whole time. Don't worry about it. Going after the thrusters. Shake them off, Lieutenant. Look, those guys can wait downstairs. It's obviously probably better for them that way. They're... I feel pretty confident in saying they're going to get got. So yeah, I recently, um, you may have seen it in fact, but I did recently play through, I recently played through the original Gold Source Half-Life 1. And like, I was recently thinking about how interesting it is that like, how Half-Life 2 and Halo 2 ended up as games that like, could've and should've been polar opposite, like, counterpoints to each other. And yet it totally didn't end up that Cause like, both games start with half changed the video game market forever. Uh, one of them completely affected shooters and how shooters are made by introducing the concept of cover fire and regenerating health and things like that. And then one of them gave like a new level of scripting and storytelling not never before seen in any game ever. And both of those are really cool. Um, and as luck would have it, both HAL 2s came out in 2004. And like, you know, this this happens relatively often. Sometimes it just so happens that you get a, uh, a movie and their counterpart. A movie and a counterpart to it. Like, one right after another. Like how Dante's Peak came out, I think, the same year that, um, Volcano came out. But I always appreciate it whenever it happens in video games. It's a good way to guarantee competition. Because, like, hey, your game needs to be better if you're going to try to put it up against this. Like, for example, Devil May Cry got its crappy movie. The same year that another white-haired anime swordsman was in a sort of reboot. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Uh, the first time Raiden has been a main character since... Oh god. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Go! Go! The first time Raiden has been a main character since... Um, 2004, I want to say? Like... Well, that's awesome. yeah, two white haired anime swordsmen with like varying levels of reboot came out within a couple of months. And like, Revengeance is still looked at as one of the best Metal Gear games, even though it's not by the Metal Gear 2. It's not. Like, it doesn't play like any other game. In the Legendary Stealth franchise, there is barely any stealth. And yet, people love it compared to DMZ Double. For many, many reasons, myself included. I'm a huge Devil May Cry fan, and I even enjoy the reboot, but I've got to say, that is an ice-cold piece of shit compared to the legendary fucking forge that boys become men that is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. 
And so it's interesting that Halo and Half-Life really didn't have much in the way of competition. And I imagine a huge chunk of that is due to the fact that one of them came out exclusively for PCs until a shitty Xbox port came out. Yeah, it did. The man is dead now. Uh, but yeah, one of them is exclusive to... Go! I'll cover you! 360. Yep, one of them is exclusive to original Xbox, and one of them was exclusive to PC. Granted, there were some, like, kind of bad ports, but... That's really the way that you're expected to play them. Brute. I mean... In the op center. They disarmed the bomb. Sorry, Commander, there were too many. Even for me. Chief, get back to the op center. Kill those brutes. Rearm the bomb. I've gotta, gotta say... Get these men out of here. But I'll radio with another a lot of backtracking in the second level. Like, I went down one area, and then I backtracked to the first again. And then I went to a second new area, and then I backtracked to the first again. Kind of weird. I don't know, maybe three is not as good as I remember. It's possible. Now, where am I going? This is one of the things that you really appreciate with ODSD having a map for when you are uh, extremely, extremely inept with locaciones. Oh, this is probably it, right? There you go. Oh, I saw that lights. That's really funny. I remember saying that as a kid a lot, actually. That's really funny. I don't care, Cortana. I've got to say, I don't agree with that. I think that, um, like, I, I hate any anything in any video game. I would say any story, but it's specifically a problem with video games. Where your character has to stop walking and finger bang your ear. It is all over the place in, in, uh, Gears of War. It is even in the legendary Metal Gear Rising Avengers, although there's a button to skip dialogue in normal dialogue, not just skip cutscenes, which is a saving grace if ever I've seen it. But just like, have your character stop fighting and put a finger to your ear so you can talk. Like, it's kind of, it's dull, it's boring, and I don't like it. And in the same way, I really disagree with the decision to slow down gameplay for any reason. Like, even if nothing's happening and we're just walking from area to area, I do not like having to stop and slow walk anywhere. I say slow walking. That's different though. But like when the game when the game intentionally slows you down so you can Appreciate the. Head through the motor pool to get to the opposite. Appreciate the story, I guess. Like I, I disagree with that completely. I think it's. Dumb. And there's so many better ways that you could do it. Like there's no reason that it has to be that. It could just be a cutscene. But they want to make it be gameplay. And I don't know why they do this. Maybe they, maybe they just want to say there's like this many hours of gameplay. And then so they make it so you can slow walk around. Let them bleed for a bit. We'll take them later. That was pretty great. Chief, bombs armed. We got your exit. A service elevator in the hangar. 
Head downstairs, cut through the caves. You got it. Is this another backtrack? I think it is. I probably got him, right? Oh, whoops, I got the wrong gun. But I, I don't really need to go back to it. There will be a great deal of hardship on the road ahead. It also doesn't look good. When they zoom up to the camera, you can see all the pixels in the, uh... In her face, which is. I don't think that's fun. Like, one could make a case that, you know, maybe there are supposed to be pixels in it, considering that she's like CGI girl. But I disagree. In the same way that I bitched about, and I'll bitch about it. In the same way that I bitched about the static of the intro, in the intro of ODST. I can't believe that the space feature is this advanced, and yet we're still... We still have static, you know? That's dumb. Like, by this point, the count for pixels should be crazy high. I don't feel like this should be set in 20, 20, 25 to 52, I believe is the year. If they don't want to, like, paint that sort of thing. And like, I feel like pixels are one of those things that we would get less and less of until we don't see it. And granted, you can only represent so advanced technology while you have, you know, technology problems of your own time, but you, will become the best we can make you could avoid doing this. A particularly huge fan of Cortana. Um, I don't know if that's blasphemy or not. I, I don't know how many like Halo fans actually like Cortana. Um, There's much time, Chief. Find but like elevator. seeing as that was my introduction of like annoying girl who will come in to say hey and slow down your mission. You know, what was I to say? What what was I to think? Little baby Alfred wanting nothing but violence. Whoops! This place will become your home. This place will become your tomb. All right. Uh, oh my God, sub highway. Good goddamn level. What happened? Which means that we can pause it here. Um, thank you all for coming. I've been Alfred. Um, this has been Halo Three. Uh, everyone have a good day. I hope you're enjoying my nothing but complaints about Halo, a game that I ostensibly love, but hey, you know what? This is where we at. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Halo. Everyone have a good day. Thank you. Definitely said that twice, but whatever.